right, we have another unboxing. This isn't really any one specific game, so I'm just calling this the AEG expansion unboxing, um, which I know we don't do a lot of reviews on expansions, but this is going to be content for, I believe it's like four different games in here. So let's see what we got. So, pull out all this bubble wrap. So first, we have the new expansion for Cubitos, Foul Play. I'm super excited about this one. We have the newest expansion for Space Base Genesis. Um, she's probably just going to add a bunch of new cards. Now there are colonies as well, so that's going to be interesting. One of my top 10 games of all time. My actual number top 10 is Space Base. Then we have the uh, Tiny Towns Architects, which uh, I've had this game for quite some time. And for some reason, I don't know why, but whenever I play it, I'm always like, oh, wow, this is a really good game. So I'm excited to give this one a try as well. I don't have all the expansions, but uh, we'll see what this one adds. And who knows, maybe I'll end up picking up a couple that I haven't gotten over the years. So this adds some new building cards, some new monument cards, uh, dry erase scoreboard, and 10 building sticker sheets. Uh, oh, to place on your actual interesting. Okay, so now we'll be able to deluxify our buildings. And then this is the game. I actually don't have this game, but it was cheaper to get all four of the expansions than to just get three uh, based on shipping and whatnot. So, but I've heard really good things about War Chest. I'm not a big abstract strategy game. Um, but this one adds some more units, some cards, poison counters, uh, decoy coins. I don't know. Maybe we can do like a giveaway or something for this. So if people are interested. So yeah, so let's go ahead and open these up. Um, I won't open up War Chest just because I'm probably not going to play it. I'll probably just end up getting rid of it, uh, giving it away. And, um, you know, so we'll keep it sealed up. But... Let's start with Tiny Towns Architects real quick. Let's see how this, um, I know we'll be pretty excited. This one has been one that has definitely been moving up for us every time we play it. So actually, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in here because each of these are pretty small. Let's see if I can get this out. There we go. Okay. So we have a little rule sheet, it's just easy little thing. You have the stickers, which also has for the trees and the acorn. So it does have all that uh, for the other expansions, it looks like in there. Maybe I can get Samantha to do that. Here's the dry erase scoreboard for you with the dry erase marker. And then we have some new building cards. So we're going to have new buildings and then uh, I'm not sure what is considered. I guess they're all just considered colonies. So I think it's just more cards, it seems like. Some more cards for each of yours. Cabin, garden. I do like the artwork in these cards. They do look really nice. I don't think I've seen that before. I think that's just a... You know, any color works there, which is kind of nice. So it might be included in other expansions that I just haven't seen. But that is interesting. Something I noticed right off the bat. You have the new uh, monuments here. The bazaar. Ooh, that's cool. Um, Academy, Bistro, Malt House. Um, so I just, really great. I add some extra replayability for the game. Um, I don't think anything really mind-blowing, just more stuff so you're interested in just more things without hopefully adding up too much complexity um you might want to take a look at this one here so that's going to be tiny towns architects next let's jump into space base genesis so we're going to go ahead and pop this one open real quick um i am kind of glad about this expansion because Lately, it's just been the Saga expansions for Space Base, which I haven't really been all that excited about anymore. The first one was fine. Um, 
The second one, I never even really finished. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna add the content, which I think is where I'm at now with Space Base. I love the game, but I don't wanna play a campaign of it. Um, so we have the rule book here of what Genesis adds. And now there's just so many Space Base expansions out there. Uh, there's tons and tons of cards. So let's see what we get in here and what this one adds. Let's see. Let's check out the rule book. Maybe it'll tell me a little bit more about what's new here. Uh, there are yellow immediate awards on um, that are going to work similar to colony cards from the base game. When this card has been brought and placed into your board, its effect resolves immediately and then uh, has no other effect for the rest of the game. Immediately rewards are not optional unless specified, specifically stated otherwise. Okay, so similar to colonies, but it looks like they have different abilities instead of just getting victory points. We saw the bonus rolls, victory points, and some shared rewards. Like all players will place one uh, charge anywhere. You have the diagonal, which are associated with other things. Um, colonies with red text uh, list a condition that any player can fulfill and claim the card for free without paying for it. So that's going to be something that's definitely new there um, in the game. And claiming those. Let's see. Uh, yeah, some card clarification. So that's what you can kind of expect are these added little colony cards that are going to have these yellow abilities um, that are a little bit different from how they were. And then you have the red text and your normal kinds of things. So I won't go too crazy into all of this, but you're just looking at more cards. Doesn't add a whole lot of complexity other than, hey, some added things if you're familiar with face base, or face base, space base, uh, you'll have an idea of how to easily add this one in, um, which is pretty, pretty easy. So that looks good. I'm excited about just adding that in and playing with space base. Um, and then the one I'm most excited about and the largest of the four is going to be this Cubito's Foul Play. So this is going to add um, two new dice. So you have like a teal and a pink dice for this set. <sighs> um, I'm pretty sure they're probably going to be the exact same kinds of boxes, which... I was able to fix them from the base game, so I'm not worried about that. So you're going to have some additional dice for... You get your boxes there. Some additional dice, some new color dice. Let's take a look at these. I won't look at the ones that are already... There's extras. Because <clears throat> now I believe you can play up to six players. But let's take a look at the teal ones first. So here we have, looks like we're going to give you credits here. So you have the one square, which is nice. So those are, uh, if you're not familiar, you have temporary currency and then you have like permanent currency. And the squares are permanent currency. And these are going to have little birds on them. So you're going to have credits on one side and a bird on the other. So that's cool. Okay. Then let's see what we got here. This is flamingos on them. So here we have flamingos and a foot for movement. Ooh, and then we have, what is it? Hold on, what's that say? It's got a flamingo and then a foot with an X on it. So it looks like maybe a multiplier. I'm kind of curious to see how that works. That looks really interesting. You're gonna have the two new player colors that you're gonna have. Looks like a purple and a green. So this allows you to play up to six players now. So now we have turtles and an octopus, looks like. So there we go, hopefully you can see those just fine. Okay, so that'll be cool. We have the new cards, let's pop these open and see what these look like real quick. If I can pop them open. Got the new reference there. There we go. Got it. And so here we have some additional, which I like this. Honestly, if they just came out with packs of cards that changed the abilities on things, 
I think that would be cool. That's just more replayability for me. I get to play around with different combinations. I love it. So here we're going to have some new ones for, it looks like two for each dice that's already in there, which is pretty cool. I always like the names too. Mo Lama. Shama Lama Ding Dong. <laughs> Big Dinosaur, Scrappy Dino. Then you have Fluffy and the Smart Pup. And then here we have the new ones. So we have Can't Count Flapula. Yeah, cool. That's got the little Dracula artwork. Um, and you can see the different combination or what's on the sides of the dice there. Um, let's see. Foul Bean, Much Munch, Nom Nom, Pink Undead, and then you have Vant to, Vant to Roll Z Dice, <laughs> Water Lover, then we have the Pigeon here, which is Decision Pigeon, Justice Flappy Pants, Justice Pooping Peggin, Peggy, <laughs> Pooping Peggy, <laughs> the Animal Birdie McBird Face, the Honorable Feathers McDo, the Honorable Pidgeo, Pidgeotti, I don't know how to say that one, Tyrannical Justice Coup, and we're back to the beginning. So that's going to add some more really cool cards and extra dice to pay for. I'm also excited about the new racetrack here. So we have Island Hopper, and we have Pits and Perils. So... Let's see what we have on here real quick. Uh, I don't see... Ooh, it's really... I'm kind of interested. It looks like the only way you can jump around is... Well, that makes sense because it is Island Hopper. Is using these abilities, which is interesting because that's not something that everyone always utilized in the previous game, I didn't feel like. So that's going to be really interesting. Here we have Pits and Perils, which you can see the pits here. So I'm curious about how that's going to change up the game. Just a quick little back and forth there with some water included. You have the references and the player boards. So let's take a look at how these new dice are. Uh, so with the pink dice, it says this is the pink dice's power symbol. Uh, and some pink abilities have a power symbol effect in addition to the regular effect. If you choose to use the dice, you must lose one movement during your move step to the, uh, in the run phase. Before moving your runner figure, if you use the dice, you must lose one movement, even if the pink ability card does not have a power symbol effect. This symbol cannot reduce your movement below zero. Oh, okay. So it's got some cool abilities, but it sounds like you might have to pay some strength or some speed, some movement in order to utilize that. So uh, if it allow if an ability allows you to use movement before your move step, um, you do not lose the movement for your pink dice until your actual move step. And then you have the new pitfalls. They're considered a hazard space where if you end your space, your move step, any pitfall, uh, and you didn't start the round in that space, then you will gain one gray dice of your choice, light or dark, uh, and place it in your discard zone. So moving through a pitfall has no effect. It's just if you uh, end your movement there. Okay. And so then you have some added victory tours, which are really cool. I always like when they add these um, added goodies here uh, and suggestions. And yeah. So pretty, and also clarifications on that. Um, looks pretty straightforward. I'm really excited to get this one to the table pretty quickly um, because I really, really like Cubitos. But that is going to do it for this giant unboxing of essentially everything AEG. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.